Okay, so we're on the train to Toronto and it's a double decker. It's a double decker train, so it's huge. We are one hour away from Union Station, so we get into Union Station at two o'clock and I am so excited. This is going to be a very manic, a very chaotic vlog, but I'm here for it. So I'll show you what I've got. I've got my suitcase. I've got a sleeping bag and I have a tote bag. I didn't vlog from the bus from Niagara Falls to Burlington because I was stressed and hot. The bus had no air conditioning on, so you can see how rosy my cheeks are. It's a little bit cooler here, which I'm so grateful for. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Next stop is Toronto, baby. Okay, I have made it to Toronto, um, train station, Union Station, and now we are on our way to find Christy and Patsy. Hopefully, I've got a direction. They sent me a picture of them next to a clock. So now I just need to find this clock. Uh, someone said it's up that escalator. And now I can see the escalator. I'm so hot, but it was such an easy ride to get here. A bus for one hour and a train for one hour. And normally the car takes about an hour and 20 minutes. So it's not too bad. It feels like I'm in New York in Grand Central Station. It feels literally like I'm in Gossip Girl right now. So, I think they're here somewhere. They sent a picture of the clock. This is what I can see. Okay. Oh, I think I can see them. I found the clock, by the way. <laughs> this is the clock. Hey! We're here! We're here. Hey! <laughs> okay, so we just picked up our iced coffees. Love these. <laughs> and now we're just walking the streets of Toronto. This feels so weird for me because I am a little, not city girl. <laughs> and I'm here without Jake, so that feels weird. But I've got the girl, so oh, it's good. <laughs> This is the first time in two and a half years that I've been out without Jay. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. Yes. Oh, Don't worry, I won't cry. Nice. What's he doing tonight? Boys night? Yeah. <laughs> you better not be if you're watching this. <laughs> anyway, so we're heading to LCBO now to get some drinks for tonight. Um, and then I'll let you know later what we get up to. So we are just getting ready now. It is currently 4.20 and we have to leave at six. So we've got two hours, so we've got plenty of time. I'm just doing my hair and then I'm gonna do my makeup and then I don't know what dress to wear. I don't know if to wear the black one or the champagne color. So I'm gonna try them on and then I'll decide afterwards. Okay, so I've just done my base makeup and now Patsy is gonna do my eyebrows and eyeshadow. I've actually never had my makeup done by anyone else before, so I'm so excited. But she is an up and coming MUA, so watch this face. This is before. Okay, so Patsy has finished my eye makeup. She did my eyebrows and eyeshadow and then I added the eyelashes and I literally love so pretty. I felt like I was Kim Kardashian in the chair. Like, I want this every day. I love it so much. So we're just finishing getting ready now. Christy's just doing her makeup. Hey. <laughs> Patsy's in the other room just getting ready because she wasted all of her time on me, bless her. Um, and then we are heading out in 10 minutes or so. Well, we're supposed to be leaving in 10 minutes, but we want to take some pictures and stuff. So I'm going to be vlogging on my camera. So sorry if the quality goes down from my camera and I'll see you the other side. We're there for 6.45, we're still making our way there now. Okay, so it's six o'clock, we you. are all dressed and we are Thanks ready to go. Um, we're going to a rooftop terrace to take some pictures. September okay, so I said it was going to be a bit of chaotic vlog, and it is. So we're currently in the taxi on our way to a friend's house to get some pictures, and then we'll be on the road to the first location. 
Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> it feels good to be all nice and glam and dressed up because this doesn't happen very often, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay, so we're just at Christy and Patsy's friend's house and this view is literally insane. Like we're on someone's apartment roof and this is the view and it's literally like 360 around Toronto. And then there's Lake Erie in the background. And yeah, I literally cannot believe the views. Oh, I bet the sunsets here are amazing. I'm not like a huge city girl, but right now I'm absolutely loving this. And they also have barbecues on their, t their terrace. Like what the hell? Okay, so we're saying goodbye. Ooh. So we're saying goodbye to the good view. That is the CN Tower while the sun is setting. And now we're on our way to the ride. I believe it's an SUV. Unsure what SUV it is. <laughs> so we're at our first stop. And our first stop is Casa Loma. Now there's an event going on in there. So unfortunately we can't go get too in close. But this is honestly stunning. The fact that this is in the middle of like a city centre it's just crazy. I would love to come back one day to do a tour of inside because apparently it's like beautiful with like ballrooms and everything like that. But the first stop is uh, Casa Loma. Look how stunning it is. Hang on, let me turn the camera around and show you properly. So yeah, this is the, the back of the castle, the front of the castle, and then it goes all the way down. What's next? <laughs> okay. You sure? Yeah. So we're about to gate crash an event. A wedding, I think. Oh, it's a wedding. I oh, now I feel even worse. <laughs> so, we want a picture at the front, so we're just going to see if we can get an invite to this wedding. Well, other people like taking pictures as well. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, that's such a cute spot. So, we're just going back to the car now to go to location number two. Uh, we're going in, this is our car, by the way, and this is our driver, Holly. He's great. Um, he was taking all of our pictures for us. So, yeah. Next time Casa Loma, we'll do a tour. Okay, so we're inside the cinema. Um, we just had our pictures done just here and now we are at the, the popcorn stand to get a drink and some popcorn and stuff. It's, I'm so excited to watch this now. We're basically watching a movie premiere. Um, I'll tell you about it afterwards. But we're just getting our drinks and then we're gonna go get some snacks. And yeah, let's see what's on the menu. So the popcorn popping. And popcorn over here is so different. You can't get sweet or salty. You just get normal popcorn and then you have to add your own butter. Um, I ordered a whiskey sour, so I'm just waiting for that now. Um, <laughs> what did you get? A vodka slush. Vodka slush. I went for a whiskey sour. How good does the popcorn sound? The popcorn smells so good here compared to UK. I don't know. I know. They don't have sweet or savory. It's plain and then you've got to put butter on it. So I got my whiskey sour. Patsy's got her vodka slush. Taste test. Pure vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I take it it's strong. Pure vodka at the bottom. Pure vodka? Yeah, no, whiskey. Whiskey, pure whiskey. Mm. Nice, mm. it's good though. Thank mm. you, but. Yeah, very tasty. And I have another raffle ticket in my bag, so maybe I can get another one later. Did you get another one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna go check out the snacks. Let's hope there's some popcorn to take in with us. Oh my God, need to see a film of popcorn. Yeah, Please. yeah. So this is the food. Oh my God, it smells so good. We're gonna have to do some taste tests. Oh my God. Raw, raw chocolate chip <laughs> cookie. <gasps> Take some for the inside. <laughs> okay, so the movie is about to start. We're going to find our seats. Oh, this is a really cute little theater, cinema. My snacks oh, in my bag. <laughs> Got my snacks. Oh, okay, so we're in the cinema, and is there a more British thing to do than bring in snacks to the cinema? So, this is a chocolate chip cookie dough. Sorry if the quality is really bad, it's really dark. So we have just finished the premiere. It was really, really cool. It was such an interesting documentary and I learned a lot. Um, and he gave us a lovely little gift. 
Bavaria. I haven't opened it yet, so when I open it, I'll let you know what's inside. But it's a little thank you note from him saying thank you for coming to watch. But yeah, it was great fun. I met some cool people, got some good pictures, and it was an overall good experience. And now we are just back at the apartment, and we're just gonna chill and talk about it, catch up. Okay, so it is quarter to one in the morning and we've just got in. I've got into my PJs, I'm all comfy and it was such a fun night. It was such a good laugh um, and yeah, it was a great experience. So now we're just gonna chill and probably, I mean, get, get my sleeping bag out, just chit chat and then see what tomorrow brings. Good morning. So it is currently 9.32, I've got my shoes on and my shorts, but I've got my pajama top still on. And we're gonna head down to Tim Hortons to grab some breakfast, because I am starving. We um, had little nibbles last night, which we were very grateful for. But like, I've heard when you go to events and there's food, it's always like little nibbles. Um, so I try to have as much little nibbles as possible. Um, but I was so hungry when I woke up this morning. Um, I'm a big foodie. So yeah, we're gonna head down to Tim Hortons. I'm gonna grab myself a coffee. I don't know if I want an iced or a hot coffee though. I'm gonna have to see what they fancy when I get down there. And then maybe like a farmer's wrap or something. And then I've got a head home, which I'm so sad. Um, I'm just loving life in the city. Believe it or not, country girl takes city life and I'm loving it. It's so weird. Um, I could easily do like another night or two nights here for sure. Next time maybe I'll plan a few nights. But we had the best time last night. It was so funny. Like not like the movie and stuff. Like the movie was a documentary and it was something that was like so touching. Like it was honestly crazy emotional but like the beforehand and meeting all of um like the friend our friend new friends and stuff we just had such a good time we had a driver who drove us around toronto for two and a half hours we went to like different places in toronto and um, make sure you go check out christy collins tiktok and patsy if you don't because they documented it on tiktok and um it was just yeah it i feel truly blessed but I need to go get food, so let's go to Tim's. So, we're out in Tim's getting breakfast. I can't believe I look like this on the street right now. <laughs> no, I look, I've got no sunglasses to hide. And I'm just getting a new donut that I've never seen before, so I'm gonna show you it. So I'm gonna get the creme brulee donut. There's my finger, creme brulee donut and it looks insane. I've actually never tried a creme brulee before. I just like it because of the High School Musical song where he makes creme brulee. And they've got s'mores. Oh, Nutella s'mores. Which one did you get? Oh. Okay, so I've got my creme brulee donuts. Let's do a taste test. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah, it's got caramelized um, caramel oh, on top. Oh. Okay, because there was so much traffic in the Uber, I was late to my train by two minutes. Love that. But that's okay, the next one is in an hour, which means it gets me into Niagara Falls at like two or three, I can't remember now. So yeah, I am just in the city. There is the CN Tower. And also guys, this hotel here literally looks like the Tipton Hotel. Do you know what Sweet Life of Zach and Cody? Like, that was like my childhood dream to live in the hotel and I literally feel like I'm outside it right now. Maybe Zach and Cody's at the top. So yeah, I am just gonna go into the train station which is just here and get some tickets, because um, I haven't got my tickets yet. And then my next train is at 11.45 which means I'll get to home at 1.45 to 2 o'clock. And then I've got to go to work at 5. Reality of my life right now. It's so full on all the time and I'm juggling work and so much, but I'm having the best time and I feel so blessed. But yeah, it feels weird being in the city by myself. This is crazy. Like, I wish I had a whole day to explore it for you. Like, I think the country life to city life kind of suits me. Like, maybe I should do half and half. I've just reached Burlington and my bus is in 25 minutes. Um, so I get home at two o'clock-ish and then I'm gonna work at five. So maybe I can have a nap and then shower. But I didn't even drink last night and I feel hungover. Like it's so weird. I think it's because I'm so tired. 
I have so much going on all the time, which I'm really grateful for. But I feel like I've hit a, I've hit a wall. But I think on the bus home, I'm going to try have a nap. The only problem is that I always feel like I'm never going to wake up. Like I'm going to miss my stop. So um, I'm maybe I'll set an alarm for like 45 minutes and try close my eyes. Um, and I'm hungry as well. But I think I'm going to wait till we get home and make some think. But yeah, I got 25 minutes to kill. So catching up on youtube okay so it is the next morning i have caught up on my sleep and i was just editing and realized that i don't have an ending for this video so here's me in really bad lighting in my dressing gown of course would it be a, a louise vlog without louise being in a dressing gown if i ever bought out merch it would have to be a dressing gown <laughs> um anyway i had the best time in toronto with christy and patsy thank you so much to both of you for letting me stay around your house it was just such an amazing experience the fact that we got a driver to drive around toronto and um, going to watch movie premiere like it's definitely something that was on my bucket list well not even like a small bucket list like my life bucket list that i've been able to tick off and i'm actually loving this city it's so weird because i'm such a country person and i know i live in a city here st catherine's is a city but it's a very small one compared to toronto but like at home i'm from like a little town and it's just so weird going there and like i like i love visiting the city basically like if it's just for small trips at a time it makes you really appreciate it and i feel really lucky that it's literally like an hour away on driving or an hour and a half on a bus so yeah i feel so grateful and i cannot wait to go back up i want to take jake back up to the city it's been a very very long time since we've been, both been together i actually did 48 hours in toronto last year tried to do as many tourist things in 48 hours so i'm going to leave that video down below if you want to go check that out it's a really cool and fun video um, but I said it was going to be a chaotic vlog. It was a chaotic vlog. So I apologise. But uh, in two weeks, they are coming down to Niagara. So make sure you watch out for that video. I am so excited for the City Girls to come see Niagara and Niagara on the Lake and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Where do